gentlemen, here we are in New York to bring you the All-American football team as chosen by the Associated Press. You're about to meet the best college football players in the nation. Every one of them a future pantyhose salesman. <laughs> Later on, these fellas are gonna stand in the line together and recreate the Great Wall of China. <laughs> so let's start with the defensive team. First, the tackles. Leroy Selman, Oklahoma University. Boy, Leroy is really tough. He makes mean Joe Green look like Audrey Hepburn. <laughs> Leroy's a leg man. He always brings one or two in the locker room. Steve Niehaus, University of Notre Dame. Steve is 6'5 and weighs 270. This is one mountain Faith won't move. <laughs> he's not only big and strong, but he's a straight-A student. If you were a teacher, would you tell him he was flunking? <laughs> And now the middle guard. Dewey Selman, Oklahoma University. Dewey and Leroy are brothers. They're the most dangerous pair since the James boys. <laughs> Dewey and Leroy work together. Dewey hits them and Leroy notifies their next of kin. <laughs> and now the defensive ends. Jim O'Hara at Oklahoma University. Yeah, this guy plays defense the easy way. He tackles 11 guys and then sorts through them for the one with the ball. <laughs> Leroy Cook, University of Alabama. Leroy believes in psychological warfare. He's the only football player with a black belt and glaring. <laughs> and now the linebackers. Greg Buttle, Penn State University. Greg is known for his second and third efforts. He's the only guy who does better in the instant replay. <laughs> Sammy Green, University of Florida. Sammy keeps busy the year round. In summer, he picks oranges. And in the fall, he squeezes running backs. <laughs> Ed Simonetti, Texas A&M University. Yes, sir, and Ed gives us all for Texas. If he'd been at the Alamo, Texas would have won by at least two touchdowns. <laughs> and here are the backs. Pat Thomas, Texas A&M. <laughs> Congratulations, Pat's a repeater from last year. He's intercepted more passes than a belly dancer in Istanbul. <laughs> Mike Haynes, Arizona State. Michael weighs only 185, but he's six foot three. And he's often mistaken for one of the goalposts. <laughs> Chet Muller, United States Naval Academy. Yeah, and the way Chet plays, you can tell he's Navy. When he tackles you, he scrapes your barnacles and drops the anchor on you. <laughs> now let's take a look at the offensive team. First, the All-America Center. Rick Barnes, University of Nebraska. Rick was with us last year, and he's some center. The only time anyone ever moved Rick out of position was when they built a freeway through his legs. <laughs> and now the All-America Guards. Randy Johnson, University of Georgia. How about that? Facing him on the field is like flying a Ford Trimotor into the Bermuda Triangle. <laughs> Ted Smith, Ohio State. They call Ted doctor. He's put six guys in the hospital. <laughs> Ted's the kind of guy who does a lot for women shoppers. When he grabs a linebacker, he personally produces 180 pounds of ground sirloin. <laughs> and now here are the tackles. Mark Conkar, University of Colorado. Kind of big for a college senior, isn't he? I went to school smaller than him. <laughs> Bob Simmons, University of Texas. Yeah, and he's a big one. On the flight here, he sat in 17B. His shoulders were in 17A and 17C. <laughs> and now the All-America tight end. Mike Barber, who's on a tick? Yes, sir. Mike is a great receiver, and no wonder. Most fellas his age won't go near a barber. <laughs> he's a leading pass receiver, not counting Raquel Welsh. <laughs> And now, the wide receiver. Clay Seavers, University of Tennessee. This guy's all over the field. Finding him is like trying to get all the pins out of a Christmas shirt. <laughs> Let's take a look at the running backs. Archie Griffin, Ohio State. <laughs> the 
Well deserved. Archie just made gridiron history, the first man ever to win two Heisman trophies. A pair of bookends like that is what every football player dreams about. And I want to tell you, Archie is a great running back. He's got more moves than Fanny Fox at a Shriners convention. <laughs> Ricky Bell, University of Southern California. Ricky Bell is very aptly named. Try to tackle him and he'll really ring your chime. <laughs> uh, he's a running back who's eating up more yardage than O.J. At USC, they call him Orange Plus. <laughs> Chuck Muncy, University of California, Berkeley. Chuck's big, powerful, and very shifty. In action, he looks like a 747 piloted by Evil Knievel. <laughs> and now the All-American quarterback. John Shore, UCLA. Yes, sir, and John's getting ready for a high estate in the Rose Bowl. John is the hottest Bruin since Smokey the Bear flicked his bick in Yellowstone National Park. <laughs> Here they are, ladies and gentlemen, the Associated Press All-America football team for 1975. They not only think of sport events that will thrill the world, but these boys are thinking of the better things of life, like family and home, and studying to become some of the great minds of the future. These men who think of our country, and I'll tell you, they're going to take this nation on to bigger and better things for the future of this country. That's why I... Man, they're all American, aren't they? 